the JLT handicap hurdle is next up then. And oh, they're off. <laughs> Don't know what happened there? We didn't get a card. Sorry about that. And Trump totally thrown me that in there. <laughs> Warlock is the leader. So uh, let's sort of see how we get on with this one then, and see if we can get a bit of a run through during the race. It's a three mile hurdle, I think. So uh, yeah, it is. So come down towards the first of the twelve flights. We should be able to get the um, and a name check in for them as long as they don't all fall too quickly. And Drumhalla is the leader for Alex Cherry. The rest of them pretty much in a group at the moment. We want them to be a little bit spaced out, they're not. So <laughs> come down to the second. And Drumhalla takes that one in the lead. Dolly is the one in the black jacket closest to us. That's Stu Gray. Mighty Sun is the second. Alex Cherry Horse in the same colours as the leader just over there on the far side. Larry Sharon is the one in the Norwegian flag colours. That's Carla Agante. They're all over the third. And Pembroke Barrakilla is nearest to us now. That's in the Welsh flag colours of Grand Clutterbuck. And Warlock for Joshua Sutherland is in the middle of that pack somewhere. That's in black and red hoops. Forest Rock for Kevin Minahan is the one in the green with the orange hoop as they take number four. And... Finium is Tam Kings, that'll be a grey. Yep, it's the only grey in the race as well. Who we got missing there then? Let's have a look. Uh, Ruther Glen for David Robertson, that's the one in the blue and the purple hoops with a yellow cap. Scarfiotti in the blue, there's two in the blue, Trabago and Scarfiotti, so I'm not sure which one's which at the moment. One's on the inside, one's towards the outside. Uh, the one in the green is Brer Rabbit, that's mine. And then the yellow of Murphy's brother, that's Sirius Chill Obi Wan, and the second Kevin Minahan horse, Tango Orange, is just at the back marker. So I think, with the exception of not knowing which is which between Scarfiotti and Trabago, we've just about got it sorted out. So they're over that one then, net. And they've still got two miles to go, and Drumhuller is the leader from Finium second. Larry Shine in his third, and Dolly is fourth. Then Pembroke Barra Killer and Forest Rock Mighty Sons after that one. Then Ruther Glen. Looks like Scarfiotti is the lighter coloured horse of the two James Follis ones. The black horse towards the back is Trabago, or Trabago, whatever you want to call it. The back marker is Tango Orange. So Drum Halloween in the lead as they get their way towards the next flight past the ambulance facing the wrong way. Again, still what we're doing is not about that. They come out of this flight of hurdles and over it they go. Drumhaller in the lead. Finium second and Louder Shard in third. They're going to swing left handed shortly. Plus these cones take the outside track. In this race, make their way down towards the next. So Drumhaller's in the lead. Then Finium is in second. Louder Shard in his third and Dolly is four. Forest Rock is five. Scarf got his six. And Ruther Glen is seven. Then Pembroke Butter Killer is eight. Mighty Sun is nine. And Warlock is ten. Then Trabago and Murfreesboro. Brea Rabbit. And finally. Tango Orange at the back who's been pulled up so that's the first victim of the pull-up kit in this race and we've seen too many pull-ups in the races that I've done this week which is a bit of a surprise we normally get loads but um, they're skipping over the seventh and we've just lost the one there so far Tango Orange but Drumhalla continues to show the way home to Louder Shining in second Forest Rock and Finium and then Warlock and Ruther Glimmer the field are pretty tightly packed as they take number eight all over that safely. Brea Rabbit still just the back marker. Drum Haller. A good couple on. Brea Rabbit's being pulled up as well. So that just shows you how crazy this pull up kit is. Because Brea Rabbit won over three miles on this very course two weeks ago. And today he's pulled up with a mile ago. So how does that work? Anyway, Louder Shine and, and Drum Haller together. Was the fact he's got top white might have something to do with it, but never mind. Brother Glenn in third, then and Warlock and Finium. Forest Rock is next, and then Dolly, then Murfreesboro, Trabago, and Mighty Sun as they take the tenth. And we're losing Pembroke Barrakilla now as well. So pull up kit is certainly decimating this race. Not more than the hurdles are anyway. And Louder Shining is now in front from Brother Glenn and Drumhalla. There's a race downhill. Warlock is next, then Forest Rock, then Finium, then Dolly, Murfreesboro, Trabago. Mighty Sun and Scarfiotti wouldn't actually rule any of these out at the minute. They could all win this. And Ruther Glen has come through on the outside. 
just about shade the lead. We've got two more flights to take. We've still got five furlongs to race. And Ruther Glen, Drumhalla, Louder Shining, almost three in a line. Forest Rocks out behind them. Then Warlock and Trabago and Murfreesboro as they take the second last. And that time it was Warlock who jumped into the lead. Warlock then with Murfreesboro now going in hot pursuit. They've gone past Ruther Glen. Forest Rocks dropping away as well. The rest of them trying to get around the outside now. Murfreesboro hits the front. Murfreesboro from Warlock. Ruther Glen's trying to come back. Here comes Finium. Another one of those Tam King horses getting into it at the business end of the race. Drumhalla finally looks beaten. They're coming down towards the final flight then there. And Warlock's regaining the initiative. Warlock, Ruther Glen, Murfreesboro, Finium. It's between these four as they race down towards the final flight then. And they come to it with Warlock. About a length clear of Ruther Glen in second. Then Finium and Murfreesboro. Trabago and Dolly trying to run on over the final flight they go. Warlock got over it best, got away from it best. Ruther Glen's trying to chase then. Comes Murfreesboro. Finium's not going to win. And it's going to be Warlock, I think. Warlock looks like he's going to take this one for Joshua Sullivan. Warlock from Ruther Glen and Murfreesboro. Then Finium and they're racing there up towards the line. It's going to be Warlock that's going to take it. Ruther Glen is going to be second. It's going to be close to third, but Murfreesboro just holds on from Finium. Then Mighty Sun and Dolly and Forest Rock and Drumhala and Louder Shining. And then the Formula One Follis pair at the back. So it's Warlock for Joshua Sullivan that takes it. Ruther Glen for David Robertson was second. Murfreesboro for Obi won third. Finium for Tam King fourth. And Mighty Sun for Alex Cherry was fifth. <laughs>